Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see how we can use System Manager Console to create a local user account on the EC2 instances. Suppose we have a situation where we have forgotten the username password uh, for the EC2 instances, but the SSM console is running and the SSM agent is reporting to the System Manager. Then we can leverage the SSM console to create a user account and then we can use the same user account and password to log in into the system. So let me show you the instance here. So this is the instance and if I want to connect to the RDP session, I need to retrieve the password. Now suppose I don't have this password or I don't have the key. If I click on the get password, it will ask me to upload the private key. But uh, for some reason, I don't have the private key available with me. So I cannot decrypt the password that is there. So we have to use the another method here, okay? So if the SSM session manager is working on this computer, then we can connect to the uh, system manager console and then we can fire a few commands to create a user account. This SSM manager console directly connect to the, uh, the instances with the admin privileges. So you can fire the PowerShell command and then yeah, it can like uh, whatever the activity you want to perform uh, based on the commands that you want to use, you can perform that. So as we want to create a user account to log in into the system, right? I will use the first command, new hyphen local user admin, and then the password we are setting as pass at one, two, three, four. So I'll go here and I'll paste the command to create a local user account. And you can see here the name we have set as admin and the it is enabled. The second command we are going to fire to add that newly created account into the administrator group so it won't give us any error during the login process. Because only creating the account will not help us. It The, the account need a privilege to access the computer remotely. So it can be either administrator or it can be either remote desktop group. So I'm again giving the third command to add this user into the remote desktop group and I'll hit the enter. Now we already know the username and we already know the password that we have set, right? So I can go here and I can copy the public DNS but in your case you can use the private IP address if you are connecting to the local network. So MSTSC remote desktop connection I'll paste the the DNS name for that computer okay it is asking me uh, the username password so I'm giving the password that we had set during the account creation And you can see here we have successfully logged in to the system with the newly created account. So let me go here in the computer management and we can see whether uh, the account is all set as per our requirement. This is the account that we had created. Then groups, we had given this account in the remote desktop group, it is already added. And then administrator group. And you can see here, the account is already there. If you have any doubt, you can put your query into the comment box and I'll try to answer that. Thank you for watching the video.